Hey, welcome back to Pat's Art Enrichment Program. I'm Amanda, and this week we're going to be talking about doing doodles and patterns. Um, you should have gotten a little piece of paper with instructions, and um, one of these pieces of paper, I think there's two of these, these pieces of paper with a grid on there. And this week's project goes hand in hand with last week's project. Um, this week we're going to explore doodling and mark making. The beauty of doodling and making marks as an artist is that um, they're completely unique to you. It's very hard to copy somebody else's handwriting or drawing technique because there's something just very unique about your hand making marks on paper. And so we're going to explore that a little bit this week. Ideally, you'd put on some wonderful music that helps you relax, that speaks to you or maybe some nature sounds. I usually listen to um, bird calls or water trickling when I paint or draw. So put some of those on and just let yourself go and you've got the back side of this piece of paper to just fill up with doodles and marks and lines however you want without trying to make an actual picture. But um, I know that that's kind of an artsy fartsy sort of instruction that's out there. So to get us going, I made these little grids so that we can practice doing different little doodles in each one of them. And we don't have a huge white canvas that we have to fill up right away because this is very intimidating. So we can start out small and do little doodles in each one of these. And um, on your instruction sheet, I even give you little prompts for each of the lines. The first one is using lines and dots, and I give you my example, and um, you can see what you can come up with with just using lines and dots. The next section, the birds are really busy today, sorry. The next section, I give you the prompt of just using squares. How, how can you fill up the space with squares? and then triangles and then nature and you'll see i did leaves and then this reminds me of rocks balancing on each other i like rocks. and the last one is circles i really love circles so i doodle circles and spirals quite often so those are included in there as well and then um some more ideas that you can you can use to let your imagination roam are doing dots or arrows, spirals, zigzags, intersecting lines, mixing different shapes together and diagonal lines, but really let your mind go and just play in each one of these squares. I'm going to show you a few examples of mine and my daughter's um, doodling so that you can get some inspiration. This one was mine that I took a photo of um, included on your instructions sheet, so you can take a look at that. And once you're done doodling and you've played around with your shapes and you've relaxed and you've listened to your music, take a look at them and think about which one did you really connect with? What did your hand like doing? What felt the most natural? Are you a line drawer? Are you a squiggle drawer? Um, you know, what, what pushed you out of your comfort zone that you had never tried before? I don't particularly like drawing squares. I don't like hard lines or triangles. So when I do that, that feels a little bit alien to me, but it pushes me out of my comfort zone and helps me explore different aspects of drawing. So I enjoy that. Then once you've taken a look at your doodles, we're going to take last week's project where we just let the, the paint mix together in each of those squares. And you're gonna doodle on top of those um, those little paint swatches that we made. And I'll also include right now some examples of what mine look like and what my daughter's look like. Um, this is something that I actually do pretty regularly when I just wanna be creative, but I don't want the stress or the pressure of painting something or making something. I just want to let my hands go and let my mind go. So I hope you enjoy doing it as well. And I hope you can find some time to relax and get to experience a little bit of doodling and mark making.